that's leaf way over there, I think. Oh no, that's uh, tecla. This is leaf, and here's leaf. That's Jaeger, Meta, Kai. Let me see if we can take a map right here. A beautiful, nice hike today. Everybody needs a break. You can hear them panting. So down in that valley to the left, we live down there. And we hiked up all this nice ridge. You can see the valley on both sides here. Lots of times I'm on the other side in the winter, right? Remember? And then uh, we hike this ridge here all along this valley. And we come up way back over here and then make our way back along over to here and it's like a it's like a dream up here because you got some open space and you can sit and have a break have your lunch I'll have my lunch here I don't know if you can see the nice white caps over there with this lens but it's a wonderful uh, view up here. This is Leda. This is Leaf. Jaeger. Jaeger. Tecla, Kai. So I got Jaeger's dad. This is Jaeger's dad. I got Jaeger's mother, Tecla. I got his aunt and his sister. There's my boy Jaeger. There's my boy. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Such a good boy. Such a good boy. Oh my goodness. What a good boy. Leaf did a good job here, buddy. That's my boy. Jaeger's uh, just, he's all finished his training, but he's just got his final health check, his final set of boosters, his rabies. I'll get him weighed. He's getting his, all his paperwork done up uh, on Monday. I take him in tomorrow. It's a Sunday today. It's a May 1st today. And uh, so we'll take him in, get him all checked out. He's fantastic, but um, Rick is coming up for him on the 9th and taking him home. He'll be hiking down there with Rick forever. This is an amazing hiking dog. He's all geared up, all set up. He does everything. He's, uh, he's not overly skilled on his lead yet, but I have never hardly had him on it. He's off leash warrior. He's a warrior. So he's very, very good. Beautiful dog. Beautiful dog. He's a lot like Leaf. He's got just a little better coat than Leaf. He's got a little more attackless coat. So it seals up nice. Working coat. And a beautiful dog. Yeah. Leaf is, uh, seals up pretty good too. He's blowing his coat right now. But it uh, works good. Tecla, you come say hello so we can see you in this photograph. Tecla, come here now. Come up here, Tecla. Okay. This is Mama Tecla. So this is the whole, the whole family. The sister, aunt. That's Kai, the aunt. So Kai and Leaf had Leda. That's the whole family there. And Tecla and... Leaf had Jaeger, that's the whole family there. <laughs> so I have like Leaf and two families. 
and the sisters get along. It's pretty darn good. Leaf's got her made. And now pretty soon I got, I'll be hiking with, uh, with more of them. But uh, maybe not, uh, maybe not um, the exact same scenario, but I got Luna and Leaf Pups and Vida and Leaf Pups. And so I'll have all them up here too. So uh, theoretically I could have, I could have uh, one, two, three, I could have quite a few families all up here with Leaf. Yeah. This is a lovely pair of dogs. Lovely, lovely dogs. Yeah. Leaf's such a handsome fella. He matches up with all my females so well. He was brought in for them. So he's done his job, boy. He's preserved Alcons all the way through, boy. He has really done good. So there's only one spot of snow over there. But there's lots of water puddles, so we're finding water. It's not a not a problem, and uh, easy to find. So we're just cruising easy, doing doing easy work. These guys got to work to get up here, but only because they go up and come back, go up and come back, and uh, they making they're making some miles, but they're doing good. So I just truck along slow so lots of times they're way ahead of me and then they come back but I don't work too hard I'm just getting my legs back under me from snowshoeing so you don't want to strain your ankles that sort of thing it's, it's a different set of muscles from snowshoes to the boots back on and your feet are going like this lots right because on snowshoes they don't hardly ever go sideways they're going this way so now you got to strengthen up that ankle from side to side and you step on so many uneven things so I don't want to go and uh, break my ankles out so I take it pretty easy but you know, keep keep it steady so Letta she's a beautiful dog just Letta boy she's been a wonderful dog just Letta Oh, you found some bear crap. That's, uh, I see that now. Uh, I see it now. You were rolling in it. So you just stay right there. Yeah. Wow. Holy cow. Yeah, right. Yeah. Don't jump, Letta. You go ahead, Letta. You go play. Son of a gun. So they camouflage themselves by rolling in that crap. Wow, but uh, no worries. The old hunting lines, I just hope Jaeger don't roll in it. But that's okay, Leaf, right? So what he does, right? He's a warrior. He's old Viking warrior. She's heading back to where they found it. They were down in that draw and smelt it. So that's where they're headed again. She'll bark from in there, probably. Jaeger, you better come, Jaeger. Come say hello. Good boy. Good boy. Come say hello, Jaeger. Come right up here. Jaeger. All right. How's my boy? Good. All right. Can you come up here, Jaeger? Where are you? Come right here. Yeah, so... Tecla, she's just training now. Her and Kai, that's all they do. I, I don't train a lot with Kai because Kai is a far, she ranges way out. She'll come if I want her to, but she don't stick around and she doesn't bring pups. And so I don't train with Kai, but once the pup is trained, you can hike with Kai all day long. So Kai is excellent now to show him a few things. But his range is good anyway. He turns around wherever he thinks it's far enough and he don't listen to anybody anymore anyway. So it's all good. The Desna program was, uh, was a pretty huge success for me. There's no doubt about it. And the Desna program was designed 
to allow these pups the ability to use these mentor dogs to learn how to range, how to work in the off-leash mountain regions where there's miles and miles where they can go. And uh, what the Desna training does is pairs them up with these mentor dogs and allows them the ability to learn how to hang around. And it's, it's been pretty successful. Now, as long as you take that dog and head him out to the mountains right away, and he just graduates right from here to where you're going, he'll be he'll be just a rock star. And just take him right to where there's no trails, right out into the bush, and just hike out and start going, and then sit down and have lunch, and it's pretty fantastic. We got some Desna training to do on the pups that are coming. And lots of these pups, you can take them right from eight weeks and do this with them if, all, if you've got the ability to get out in the bush. You can just go with them and do it. You don't need the mentor dog. It's just that I, I have them so it is easy for me. But I don't have to, I don't have to do that because they will learn. Here, come boy. Come right up here, bud. 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 Jaeger's about 17, 16, 17 weeks, 16 weeks, I guess. He's a fantastic dog, just absolute rock star. Very, very good dog, that Jaeger. Oh, there's Kai. I don't think Kai, you, be, Kai, you better come here. Have you been in the video? Kai, come here. Have you been in the video? Good. Right, right, Tecla, come up here so you can see Kai. There. Kai's in nice shape, boy. She's doing good. She's nine. Well, a month or two, she'd be nine. She hikes with them all, no problems. Tough as nails. Yeah, Kai's a good dog. So Tecla had 30 pups, Kai had 34 pups. These girls both had six litters. Yeah, good dogs. Really good dogs. They're both from Bram. There we can see you, but There we can see you, my friend. There we can see you. That's my boy. That's my big boy. Put the meat right on your dad here. Put the meat right on your dad. Yeah, so we're having a good day. Well, that's a pretty good video, I think. Lovely set of dogs. Pretty good video, you guys. I'll just give you another look around. It's so wonderful up here. We got scattered clouds, but that's not a, not a big deal. It's a region that has nothing in it. There's no, the only industry is logging right around here. The mines are pretty much done a hundred years ago. A little bit they're thinking about, but really nothing right in my zone. No pollution. It's uh, very clean air up here, all the trees, of course. We're not far from the rainforest, so, and this, this is a serious amount of forest too, so we get very clean air, there's no pollution here, no chemical plants, no nothing, no oil development, no nothing, it's, it's very, very pure, the water's good. My aquifer is filled from up here, so all my water is very, very good. The higher the go, the higher you go for water, the better it is for you. So mine comes from up here. These two big trees here are planted, not planted, they were natural, but they're about the same time. But this one's finished its life cycle. 
and this one is still gone. The one is dead. He'll fall over in a few years in a big wind. And then because the other guy stands alone, he'll go down not shortly after. There's, a, there's quite a few dead right up here, the big old trees. Lots of brand new growth coming. So the loggers, they, they salivate when they see these dead ones from the highway because they think they should have been here already. But it's, it's just that they can see them because they're out in the open. And it's only a handful of trees and it's natural. And, but they got, they got flags out there. They're planning to come in and slaughter this whole area. But we have to sell trees too. That's our, that's our business in this province. I just wish they would replant a little different. I walked right through a cut zone that was replanted in 06. And there isn't a pine tree in the natural forest anywhere. It's all fir and cedar and larch. And so what do they plant? They plant pine. You know, just, it's the Dumb and Dumber show. Um, cheap, you know, no good for nothing bums planting. You know, making the decisions on planting and um, making that choice to, to plant pine in a area that grows fur. I mean, no stupid. But you want to hear something really stupid is uh, my house is built out of fur, but the only way you can buy fur is special order it and or buy a semi-load. You cannot just drive into my local lumber yards and buy fur. You buy pine and cheap spruce, cheap pine and cheap spruce and balsam. Cheap wood, just garbage wood. They uh, sell all the fur to overseas. But I'll tell you what, in the year's time or less, that whole policy will change. We're done with that crap, us guys. The real men of the world are taking over. I'm doing nothing but watching because I'm too old, but I'm still supporting them in any way I can. But all the warriors are taking out these satanic freaks and getting rid of them. The ones who have been robbing and pillaging and raping the world. And no more of that. So we'll see a whole different uh, batch of logging, whole different batch of principles. There'll be no, no stealing all our wood and shipping it overseas for nothing. And then build something over there and send it back to us and charge us a fortune. And a little tiny sliver of sliver of real wood on top of a bunch of sawdust glued together. We won't have that no more. We'll get a real table. But uh, that's just my rant for the day, I guess. But I'm happy to see the White Hats are taking all these Kazarian freaks out. And they're going fast. And I mean really fast right now. So all the satanic losers are leaving. They're gone. So we'll be able to hike in this pristine area. Anybody in the world can come to these pristine areas and we'll be able to hike for the rest of their born days and see real trees and real, real wilderness and not fake forests of one species. But you'll see the natural mix of trees and it'll be so much uh, the, the world is already greener just by getting rid of the chemtrails. We noticed it last year and I noticed it already. But uh, the chemtrails are all gone too. They're blowing them out of the sky. So there won't be no more chemtrails going on. That's finished. Look at that boy go. He's a fantastic dog, that guy. Yeah, so I hope everybody gets a chance to enjoy nature as it is. It's the world's best thing. And you need a good dog to really enjoy it. You can have a lot of stuff, but you're never too, truly rich till you get a good dog. 
and then you're rich if you got nothing else and all you got is dog got her made all right leaf our crew's leaving leafy's a good boy